All right, good people, a couple things. Friday's agenda is on the board. I am going to give you some notes and I'm going to also model how to determine if a function is or if a relation is a function or not a function, okay? Um, then we have partner practice assignment and then I want you to watch the study guide video. The study guide video is on Canvas and I have headphones if you don't have headphones for your laptop, okay? Your test is on Monday. All right, so let's look at this. Function, not a function. We wrote down the definition yesterday. We're going to write it once more. A function is a relation graph or Let's just put relation or graph. I won't do those other things till I explain it. Where the X values, and in parentheses, we're gonna put X coordinate, do not repeat. Remember that a relation is a set of ordered pairs. You could see a relation in many different ways, and I'm going to give you some examples of what a relation looks like. And then we're going to determine if those relations are a function or not a function. And then you're going to do a partner assignment with that. Please make sure you write this information down because the assignment will be timed so that you'll have enough time to complete everything, okay? All right. So first, a relation. What is it? Manny, what's your question, babe? Wait, how many? Two, one and two. All right, here we go. The first example, you could have a relation that looks like this, just a set of ordered pairs. You could have some ordered pairs. Let's do one and five. Let's do three and negative two. Let's do eight and seven. Let's do six and 10. This is a relation. Person three. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're going to look to see if this relation is a function. That means do these X values repeat? Please pay attention, stop talking, because it's disruptive to other people. All right, let's underline and only look at the X values. This is X value, this X value, this X value, this X value. Remember? With an ordered pair, the first number is the X coordinate, the second number is the Y coordinate. All right, since all of these X values are different, this relation is a function. Okay, try this. Pause for the calls. Try this. See if this relation is a function. Is this relation a function? Yes or no? Let's yeah. underline the X values to see if any of them repeat. We have four, 
as the x value? Negative 3, 6, and 4. Do any of the x values repeat? Yes, this is not a function because the x values repeat. This relation is not a function because, I'm going to abbreviate because, x values repeat. X value or coordinate 4 repeats. Number three, try this one. Let me write it as a table. Shh, please hush. Pause for the calls. Number, try number three. Okay, is this relation a function, yes or no? Yes. yes. All of these X values are different. Now, some of these Ys repeat, but that doesn't matter. As long as all the X values are different, this is a function. This relation is a function. All right, let's do this one. This is a table. Let's try mapping. This is a diagram called mapping, where ordered pairs are written slightly different. Going to show you how they're written. We have our first oval with our X values in it, maybe the X values are three, four, seven. We have Y, another oval, which I drew this one more like a leaf. Where you might have Y values, one, seven, six, Let's do three, okay? Or really, they need to be in order. So that's three, six, and seven. The numbers need to be in order. With mapping, I'm going to draw arrows because this is not the only, uh, what this is not all of what you're going to see. If I'm grab, please stop doing that. Jesus, take the wheel. If I'm graphing the ordered pair 3 and 7, I'm going to go from 3 to 7. The next ordered pair is 4 and 1. I'm going to go to 4 and 1. The next ordered pair is 7 and... Uh, please stop doing that. 7 and 3. And then 7 and 6. All right, so in order to read this graph, you follow the lines. I can put the ordered pairs just like this. My first ordered pair is, it, the line is going from 3 to 7, so it's going to be 3, 7. That's the first ordered pair. The second ordered pair is 4, 1. The line is going from 4 to 1. The next ordered pair is Going, the line is going from 7 to 3, so the next ordered pair is 7, 3. And then the last ordered pair is going from 7 to 6, so I write it as 7 and 6. Okay? Is this relation a function? No. Why is this relation not a function? Because the x values repeat.
Now we're going to do a graph and a line. Raise your hand if you're still writing so I'll know who I'm looking, waiting for. Okay. Let me pause. All right. Let's try number five, graphing. We're going to look at a graph. Let's draw a small coordinate plane. And draw some light lines so you can kind of see. We're going to do an ordered pair here at zero, zero. Another pair at one and two. Negative one and positive one. Two and negative one. And let's do negative one, two, three, and zero. Okay. We're going to see if any of these X values repeat. We have this ordered pair right here. There's not another X value that is like this. I could look at the graph and tell you. This is not a function because none of these X values repeat. This X value here is 1, 2, negative 3. This X value here is negative 1, and it goes up 1. This X value here is 0, 0. This X value is 1 and 2, not 1. This X value is 2 and negative 1. None of these X values repeat. This relation or graph is a function. You try this one. Oh my goodness. Shh, don't start that food. All right, please draw the graph. I'll pause to give you a chance to draw the graph and then we're going to put those ordered pairs in, okay? All right, ordered pairs. Let's try these. Let's start at the origin. Let's go to the left, negative one. Two, three, and positive one. Let's do zero and up one. Let's do zero and down one, two. Let's go over one, two, three, and down one. Let's go back to the origin over. One, two, and up, one, two. And then let's do one more point. Let's go to the left one, and let's go down one. I'm going to pause for the calls. Is this a function? Yes or no? I'm going to pause to give you a chance to answer. Is this a function? Yes or no? Okay. No. Why is this not a function? 
the x values repeat which x value repeats zero okay this is not a function Please write that in. <laughs> All right, we're doing one more. Well, maybe. Depends on if we get it. This is a different kind of graph. This is going to be a line. We're going to use what you call the vertical line test. Huh? Your vertical line test is when you take a vertical line and you move the vertical line across the graph from left to right to see if the line touches your vertical line more than once. Yes. Okay. All right, here we go. So vertical lines test is used to see if the line is a function. That was number seven. Person eight, please. I should skip you all that playing around you do. Shh. All right, here we go. I'm going to demonstrate the vertical line test. I'm going to draw the line first. The vertical line that we're going to use is our pencil. We are going to, um, vertical means that the line is up and down, just like this, okay? All right, so we're going to imagine, I'm going to put imaginary points on the line because a line has an infinite number of points. And I need to think in my mind, do any of these points share the same X value? And when I look at this, none of these points share the same X, okay? So I know that this is going, this is going to be a function because all of these X values on this line are different. But another way to do it is to do the vertical line test. If I move my pencil, start my pencil here, and I move it across the graph from left, it works better. I forgot to bring in spaghetti noodles. It works better when you have a spaghetti noodle because spaghetti noodles are very, very thin. My pencil, my pencil is thick. All right, so now, please uh, here and watch the video later, okay? All right, so look. When I move my line, when I move my vertical line across the graph, I notice that my graph or my line is not, is crossing the pencil, but it's only crossing it one time as it moves across. It's not looping back around and touching it in two places. It's only touching the pencil once. This is a function. None of these X values repeat. None of 
Let's do this one and see what you think about this one. Pause for the cause. Give you a minute to think about the circle. Function or not a function. What do we think about this one? If we were to put ordered pairs on the line, would any of these ordered pairs have the same X value? Yes or no? Hmm? Yes, they would. This is not a function. Also, if I take my pencil and I move it across the graph, I notice that, look, the circle touches the pencil up here and then again down here at the same time. It touches in more than one place on a vertical line. That's another reason why this is a function. It fails the vertical line test. It touches the vertical line in more than one place. This is not a function. This relation or line is not a function. Okay, you need your notebook and you need a pencil. Okay, I'm going to let you choose one other person that you want to work with, but I'm only going to give you exactly 10 seconds to figure that out before I put you beside somebody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you are where you are. All right, here we go. Please listen to the directions. Manny, who's your partner? You got you have to have one. Come on, come over here then. Yes! Manny. Christian, who's your partner? Bruno. Okay, sit beside him. Oh, All right, so now please listen to the directions. Thank you. All right, look. I am going to give you. Please hush, honey. I'm going to give you three sheets. The first sheet looks like this, where it says of is a function. The second sheet looks like this is not a function. You and your partner have these graphs that you have to cut out. When you cut these out, you're going to paste these down either on the sheet that says function or the sheet that says not a function. Once I give all parties, uh-uh, Christian, come back over here. Once I give all parties the uh, all three sheets, I'm going to set the timer for uh, 10 minutes. This is a grade. Pause for the call.